interest. I always want to make another point by way of observation. With all the noise they make, you don't hear them give government credit where APU has not moved the price of electricity by a cent. <laughs> the largest consumer of fuel in this country is APU. Yes. yes. Okay? The same fuel price that went up. Mm -hmm. The government of Gaston Brown, the Labour Party administration, the party that built this country, the party that locked into the people of this country, did not in any way impact or interfere with the price of fuel um, at APUA. So clearly, it is a sectoral arrangement that only impacted fuel at the pump. Hmm. Why it's not only fuel at the pump that was this impacted by the global increase. I want to also show you how just how mean spirited the Excellent UPP, point. the UPP um, members can be and have been. From COVID, you saw how they treated the, the management of COVID. Come now to the oil crisis, if you want to call it that, yeah. you can see a, an extension of the same mean spiritedness towards <laughs> the people. <laughs> the government realizing that this fuel increase will have impacted significantly and adversely um, commuters, visitors to our shores, and fishermen took a decision in Canada two weeks ago to do some amount of, um, how should I put it? M make adjustments. Arrangement. Make adjustments mm -hmm. to cushion, that's what I was looking for, mm -hmm. to cushion mm -hmm. the effect of the, the increases on those three sectors or subsectors. Mm -hmm. The UPP was not satisfied that there anybody who spared the increase. And so now they're calling taxi drivers and, and, and um, bus drivers sell out. <laughs> they call it fishermen sellout. Mm -hmm. What's a sellout? The government saw it necessary to intervene, mm -hmm. 